Welcome to PowerPoint 2010 Slide Transitions. I'm Trainer Laurie. What are slide transitions? We're not talking about the movement on the slide. It's the movement between slides. And unfortunately, the common mistake is to use too many just because you can. So what we want to learn today is to use the appropriate one. And we're going to show you what all of them look like. Transitions transition to the slide. So it won't be after the slide, it'll be the one that the slide, how that slide appears. They go from subtle to exciting, and they can take a short time or a long time. And if you click the little drop down arrow, you'll be able to see all the different options. Once you've chosen an, a transition, you uh, will probably have effect options. Not all of them have it, but a lot of them do. So I'm going to show you each of the effect options for each of the transitions as well. Plus the duration. You're going to see duration. So that is the length of time that the transition takes. Not the slide is on, but the actual transition. You have the option to apply to all, but if you're going to do that, I would only apply um, some of the subtle ones. You can tell by looking over at your slide pane if a transition has been given to it. However, here's a, a tip. Uh, this new this icon is new in that it used to uh, it used to have two different icons, one for um, animation and one for transition. Now there's only one icon. So you'll actually have to click it to see which one it is. You can also look at it in this uh, slide sorter preview pane. And you can also preview it at any time. Well, let's look at the subtle ones. And again, a good rule of thumb for these is to use on Apply to All. If you're going to use an Apply to All slides instead of uh, individually, you can uh, use one of these subtle ones. That's Cut. See how fast it was? It simply goes from one slide to the next. And you can see the effect options include None or Through Black. The duration is 0.10 second. In other words, it's one tenth of a second. Fade takes a little bit longer, and you have a couple of more options. Push. Here's a, a caution with push. It, you can see that you can push it in multiple directions, but it can make you dizzy if you're going very fast in a slide presentation, so keep that in mind. Wipe uh, simply wipes down or across. This is vertical out. You can also do horizontal out or vertical in. It's a little bit longer, too. You can see it's a, a second and a half. Reveal. You see how it goes to white first? So instead of fade through black, it will fade through white by default, but you can make it fade or reveal through black instead. And it's a very long process. Random bars. A little longer. Shape. And you can have multiple different shapes to choose from. Uncover. Look at all the different ways you can uncover it. Cover. Just the opposite. Flash. Again, a white. It has a white background. So those were our subtle ones. Now we're going to look at the exciting ones. Uh, here's a good idea. A good rule of thumb is to only use on occasion to wake up an audience. You wouldn't want to use every slide in your presentation one of these because it could be distracting. And the last thing you'd want to do is use all of them, a different one for every slide. Uh, so choose the slide that you want them to wake up on, some exciting piece of information, and then choose an exciting transition to go with it. Dissolve. There are no effect options, as you can see with that. A fun checkerboard. takes a little bit longer, but it, you can see how annoying this could be if every single slide was using this. Lines. Clock. Ripple. It's one of my favorite ones. And notice you can have the ripple in the center or from different points of view. of a transition, it could make someone dizzy, because that just made me dizzy watching it. Glitter, you can choose. I chose diamonds for this one, but you can use hexagons instead. I really like that one. It's very cool looking, very modern. 
Uh, looks kind of um, like a, something out in the stars. The shred. And you can, besides having the stripes, you can have particles instead. Switch. Flip. Again, dizziness could ensue. Gallery. That's a nice one. And it does seem like a, a gallery collection. Cube. Nice three-dimensional look. Doors. Another good three-dimensional look one. Box. Zoom. That was our exciting ones. Now we're going to look at dynamic content. This is new in that it will only move the text, not the background. However, that means you must have a background. So to do that, you would right click on your background and choose Format Background. And then under Format Background Fill, you would choose a picture or texture fill, and you must actually have that uh, fill. And if you, if you have uh, five or six slides that you want uh, as dynamic content, then on your uh, slide panel on the left side on the, on the pane, just uh, shift click on the, on the ones that you want. All right, this is the preparation slide. Okay, now this is what it's going to look like. You see how the background stayed the same and only the text moved. So, But it's different from animation in that everything moved and it did transition from one slide to the next. It just didn't have the, f the look of it actually moving. It just the text did. That's Pan. This is Ferris wheel. It's conveyor, like a conveyor belt. Rotate. Window, Orbit, Fly Through. Wait until you have the slides edited and arranged before setting your transitions. Good rule of thumb. Thank you. We'll see you next time.